be a huge burden for you. We're sent here for a reason. You can be anything you want to be. I need warriors to defend ourselves. They kill me. Bad people. I need the gods, Doctor. The mission is too important. Help me. King 2 here, man. New for Complex History, man. Listen, man. Listen, we gotta go over this Black Adam, man. Listen, we're gonna do an outlook, man. Overview, man. We're gonna look and see what's going on in this DC universe, man. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of stuff going on in that movie, man. You know what I'm saying? I, obviously, I went, I went through it. You know what I'm saying? I went through it. I have a 40-minute review. You know what I'm saying? I broke it down. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's, it's a lot with Dr. Fate that I wanted to get into. You know what I'm saying? That I didn't really touch into on my review. I'm saying it's like it's like I mean you can look at his whole outlook his character you know what I'm saying I mean first of all it's exciting to just talk about DC in this manner and not talk about just like production and some 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 producer and what's going on no we're talking about content now we're talking about the universe and, and this is what we this is what it is and so I like this I'm saying so this this is what it is we got so I mean like I said this, this movie was just it's a lot to it it's like people just talk a lot about this movie but listen movie it was a great movie we broke it down i'm gonna keep continuing to break this down for future dc movies going forward you know what i'm saying so i mean but it's a great movie man i mean going forward i mean it's it, it been dr fate it, his story is crazy i mean it's like first of all he can tell the future you know and him seeing in the beginning of the movie him seeing you know uh what happened to hawk man he thought that he died <laughs> But reality, he seen when Hawkman, you know, grabbed his grabbed his helmet. You know what I'm saying? And used his his power to, to fight Sabat. I'm saying so he was he was killed. And Sabat thought he killed him, but he wasn't. So he seen that. And so he, he his whole his whole way of thinking in the movie was moving on that point and the fact that he wanted to die. He didn't want to be here no more. He was tired. He wanted to go. You know what I'm saying? And so um those those combinations, this is what the movie's about. I mean obviously you you, you see Hawkman and and, and, and the JSA and, and Amanda Waller. So that that's that's something crazy. Like, okay, so we have Amanda Waller already with Suicide Squad. Or multiple occasions. That was right. I am your consequence. Shut it down. Wipe the drive. I got this. Your daughter is 16, Duvar. Fuck your mission. This is your last chance. Ah! Ah! I'm saying. Now we have it with the JSA. I'm saying, and we have this jail under the water. We're gods. Better humans. I'm saying. And so, who's doing this? Just a just a JSA, just just Hawkman? No. Those those was new recruits. Um Adam Smasher and uh Cyclone was new recruits. So no, it wasn't wasn't the JSA. I'm saying so it was it was something different. So we Amanda Wilder got something going on. I'm saying and it, it going forward in the DCEU, this, this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the situation here with, with, with Intergame. Now we have a situation where in, in DC right now where James Gunn is uh basically Kevin Feige of the DCEU right now. He got you know he got a partner, you know what I'm saying? Another guy. But you know, I don't know his name, but he he's he's working like the supernatural side or something like that, uh, 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 of the DCEU and the cosmic side. This 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 is all James Gunn. So James Gunn got the whole copy. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see what's going on with that. But they said James Gunn got the whole copy, right? This is this is my East Egg for Dark Side. Because if you're telling me that James Gunn has cosmic, intergame is James Gunn. You see? So if intergame is cosmic, if you change James Gunn only got the cosmic and everything else like street and stuff like that, and come to, go to the other guy, then we both know, we all know that intergame is linked to Dark Side now. So that's cosmic. You know, so so and we have in this movie, we have Intergame, you know, uh, taking over Conduct, occupying Conduct. Conduct is occupied with Intergame. I'm 
I'm saying? So now it's a, it's it's a, it's a beginning shot of Kanda. And if you look like a, like an aerial view, and it shows you like what they're doing, you can see they're digging up something. To me, it looks like the NC Life Equation. It, it looks like when uh, Dark Side you know, came down there, you know, grabbed the Earth. You know what I'm saying? Grab this axe and, and hit it, and, 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 and just the, the flames and all the writing and all that popped up. Hold dark side. <laughs> it looks similar. Now, it could be a spaceship, it could be anything, but it looks to me like the anti life equation. And they showed that still for a reason. You know what I'm saying, I'm, listen, I follow everything. I'm, I'm, I follow symbols. I follow situations. And that situation was they showed that come, coming in. They gave you a still right there. And that meant something right there. You know what I'm saying? So we had that situation going on with Intergame, Dark Side, and Conduct, and the place of the battle when Dark Side fought the, the gods and everybody. Where was that location at? You know what I'm saying? Conduct looked similar. A sandy, glassy area, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Terrain. A big terrain. You know what I'm saying? So it looks similar. You know what I'm saying? They could be they, they could be going this way. You know so we're gonna find out. You know what I'm saying? It's, obviously we got we got Shazam and, and we got Black Adam. You know what I'm saying? So we, we we got these things going on. So obviously they already know that we already know that Black Adam was before Shazam. You know what I'm saying? So now that he came into being in this in, in this reality going on in this universe black um Shazam gotta get got this. obviously it's gonna get to the mix as far as with um Shazam 2 obviously they're pushing everything back so they gotta do issue James Gunn is gonna get involved in all these other movies that's about to come out and now you're gonna see like links that's what James Gunn do he, he, he links everything Peacemaker he links the whole universe he had everything intact you know what I'm saying and so now his job now is to link everything all together, the whole DCEU, and he's gonna continue gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, Intergame is James Gunn's. So Intergame showed up in, in, in Black Adam. So now you already know he's already James Gunn's already making his moves. Like we only, now we we figured out that he's 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 the head. DC already he already been the head. He already been making these moves already. So it probably was he probably was the head of DC for like a year or so before before they even announced it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is what it is. So he, it's up and running right now. DC is up and running. So we're gonna see what's going on. Obviously we got we got Superman. They, they said they're gonna start put, doing part two. And obviously Superman, he dubbed, he dubbed the Witcher. He said, listen man, I'm about to be Superman, man. It's out of here. I'm out. <laughs> That's that. So now we know he got time now. He got time for Superman. So now it's, it's a go. It's a go, man. And, and this, this this needs to be happening, man. We need, we need Superman. We need we need we need Cyborg. We need we need, we need what's going on with the Flash? Did they fire him? Did they, did they, they got? I mean, listen, I don't care. He, he didn't care about contracts. He didn't care about none of that. He showed up to Peacemaker. Ezra, Ezra Miller. He showed up. He had to do that. He could have been on some. Oh, I'm Hollywood. I need my contract. I need this back. I can sit back. Like, I'm saying, no. He, he showed up. He liked this. You want people that, that that love this, the relish, these, these characters, man. That want to show up for the people. You know what I'm saying Aquaman showed up. You know what I'm saying I, I mean obviously Henry Cavill. He's he's working. He's busy. He's doing so much stuff. So he probably could show up because of that. And uh, obviously Ben Affleck, same thing. You know what I'm saying, but Wonder Woman, what's up? Show up. You know what I'm saying it, it's like yo, we it, we have to get some continuity with, with DC where it's like I mean not, not, I'm not, not comparing to Marvel, but to get a a family where they got directors, they got they got actors, they got they got, they got their characters, they ready to go. Man, movies are getting pushed out, shows are getting pushed out, everything. Let's go. You know what I'm saying we got a storyline. We got we got we got we got, we got situations going on right now. We got we got we got. We got you know what I'm saying we got Eternium. What's going on with that? You know what I'm saying it's like Vibranium. What's going on with that? You know what I'm saying we got anti life equation. We got the anti game. You know what I'm saying we got Superman uh, and, 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 and Black Adam. We got Amanda Waller. You know what I'm saying. It's a lot going on, man. It's a lot going on. So all I'm knowing, all I'm saying is, you see, if they could put five movies together, five connected movies together, and, and, and DC, they don't have no, they don't have no filter. 
They could be rated R. They could be anything they lose. They're going to show everything. And so if they can put five movies together, five connected movies together in the next couple of years, they're going to be front running. They're going to, front, they're going to be front running this right now because Marvel has to get edgier. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Marvel has, has the content, has the universe, has the multiverse. You know what I'm saying? Has to get edgier. That's all. That's all. So, but DC is, is already edgy. I mean, now we got we got James Gunn involved. We already know that he got he, he got that magic, man, that he pulled with Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm saying, obviously, James Gunn is gonna introduce more characters. I'm saying, so it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be live, man. It's gonna be live, and obviously, Peacemaker is gonna come back season two. It's going obviously we're gonna have a lot of end game going going forward with a lot a lot of stuff going on with end game in, in, on the street level because they're working for Dark Side. I'm saying, so it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be crazy, man, with end game. Obviously, we're gonna have some villains, villains popping up, storylines popping up, and listen, we're gonna, I, and new, new all the common history, we, we here, we, 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 we here, the universe is here, so we, we, we on it, man. I mean, we're gonna be dropping videos about DC, same way we're gonna do with Marvel. I mean, it's not, it's not a battle, it's not none of that. So I don't care about who's better, who's doing this. Listen, we want them both to be, to be successful. We, 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 we wanna, I wanna be able to eventually see it all together. Then all, all of it. James Gunn's already talking about bringing it all together, and he's the man to do it. You know what I'm saying so now, because obviously him and Kevin Feige is tight. So on, on the ground level, they got it together. They got a connect. They got a connection right there. So now you just got to get all the execs and all that contracts and all that stuff together. Because you know Feige and James Gunn, they'll do it tomorrow. They'll do it tomorrow. They, they're going. They're going to the studio right now, and, and we have we have a DC Marvel. Right now, Secret Wars. Right now, if, if they put that in the credit, I'm saying that we have Secret, Secret Wars right now, <laughs> with D, D, with with DC in it. I'm saying so. Th this is what it is. I'm saying, but people don't understand but with this growth, it's, it's, it's development, it's, it's 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 change, it's evolution. I'm saying we, we have to ever, ever, ever I'm saying elevate our minds. This Secret Wars coming up, all this this is going to be something different. I'm saying it's just like Black Adam, everybody talking about oh. It, DC go with the comic. No, DC go with what they want to go with. See? They, they got Black Adam in it. But yeah, it's, it's different. His origin story is different. You know it's not the same. You know what I'm uh, even Dr. Face's origin story is a little bit different. He said it comes from another planet. Even though in, in the comics, not boo, it's, like it's a cosmic being, not from Earth. So yeah, he's from his own other planet too. So they could be going with Naboo's origin. Naboo is from a whole other planet. So. So they can be going with that all the way, or they can be going a different way. You know what I'm saying now, Hawkman. Now they need to do a whole movie on Hawkman. You know I'm saying, but they they ain't mentioned nothing, no resurrection. They ain't mentioned really no backstory with him. Only thing they gave you is that he got yeah if metal. That's it. He got if metal. That's all. We, we, we don't got nothing else. You know what I'm saying, and he got a bunch of if he got he got a bunch of money. That's a fact. We don't, we don't got nothing else. But that's why the movie's gonna be big. You know what I'm saying. Obviously, we got we got Cyclone and you know her, her relationship to to, 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 to to the bigger character. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna find out what's going on with that. You know what I'm saying? So and then we got Adam Smasher. You know what I'm saying he is connected to the Fonz. You know what I'm saying? He was the original Adam Smasher. He took the best part of the car. <laughs> so that's what's going on there. So. I mean, we, we're going to see more characters with the, just, the JSA and everything. So, obviously, we're going to see now that Superman and Black Adam is talking. Justice League is going to be involved now. Whatever sequel was going on with Superman 2 or, you know, Black Adam 2. Either way, we're seeing Black Adam. And either either. Black, Black Adam should be in Superman 2 and vice versa. I'm saying? They, they're ultra powerful. And Conduct, to me, is, is, is going to be a place of, of what's going on. You know what I'm saying? There's something going on over there, so it's gonna be going forward, man. DC, man, they living, man. They living, man. They got it. The when, when the Batman came out, it, everybody was like, nah, nah, they, that 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 wasn't right. Put that back. Go back. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, The Rock, he did it, man. He did it, man. But yo, but Doctor Fate, this is crazy. So now, Doctor Fate, he didn't like none of the plans coming at um, Black Adam. He didn't like it. But then, 
when they get there, you know, I, um, Hulk man is like, you know, just being diplomatic. Like, yo, listen, we don't, you don't belong here, man. You know you don't belong here. This is not, it's not your place. Oh, no, you're not supposed to. I thought I'd rip your little wings off and like to see you try. And then all of a sudden, Dr. Fate just starts talking nasty. Nasty, like, pfft, nail or die. Nail or die. Even, even, even Hawkman, like, yo, okay, <laughs> you want to fight, okay, let's go. And why did he do that? Why did he, why did he set Black Adam in motion like this? Obviously, he, he could tell the future. And he wanted to die. So he figured if he had to keep keep the future going. Because in his in the future that he had, he died. You know what I'm saying? And so he had to get Black Adam fighting. To project his future, you understand? That's why he did that. If Black Adam would have would have uh, settled down and they would have just and there wouldn't have been a fight right there, he wouldn't have died. <laughs> you understand? So that's that was his whole plan to die. He's ultra powerful. He could destroy Black Adam. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought, I was thinking about you know Dr. Fate. Other videos I was talking about man, they they nerfed him. I mean, I don't think they nerfed him. I think he was just playing around. Like how he was, he would say, "Oh, we could, we could, we're not powerful enough." Like he would say that, like out blatantly. Like he, we're not powerful enough to stop him. It's not a very good plan. Like he would just say anything. But how, how he told Sabak at the end, "I can't defeat you," but he still was fighting him, and he was doing whatever to him. <laughs> then he he let Sabak kill him, kill him at the end. He took his helmet off and just let Sabak kill him. <laughs> Sabak could, would not be would not have been able to touch him. You know what I'm saying? He could have destroyed Sabak. He could have destroyed Black Adam, everybody. When 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 uh, the part in the movie where Hawk, Hawkeye says when they was, when when they first started fighting Black Adam, Hawkman says to uh, Doctor Fate and he says, "I need a distraction." And so Dr. Fate just warps the whole reality, just warps everything, just, just literally just warp all around and, and just turns it into a whole nother scenery. And even even Black Adam stopped fighting and started just looking around like, what the hell? And, 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 and Hawkman just punched him, boom. Now he could just do that to Black Adam all day. There's nothing Black Adam can do. He can just warp reality on him, have him anywhere, just dispose of him. He could, he could warp his reality to the point where he could bring him to the jail. <laughs> It, it, it doesn't matter. Like, you can do anything to him. You know he he's ultra powerful, so I, he's, he's not. He does not have a nerve. He just wanted to die, and he already had his future set. He had his projection set, and that's what he wanted. So he he thought Hawk, Hawkeye was going to die, but in reality, he he just seen a mimic of Hawkeye. That's it. You know what I'm saying so. He he didn't care. He died. He wanted to die. You know what I'm saying so. It is what it is. And, and and it's probably it's probably see funny because he probably seen the real future, seen that Hawkeye, I mean Hawkman was a didn't die, and that's why he took his helmet off. Like oh, I, I thought he was dying, and then he took his helmet off. Like oh okay, he's he's, he's good, and then he just died. So he he was not, Sabat was not going to be able to kill him. It was not. It was not. But it is what it is. But now you got that situation with with Adriana. And Amon, her son. So now in the comics, Adriana became her, his wife, like in the comics. I mean, and, and they all got, got the power. And there was like, like Adam's Shazam family, where, you know, Amon and, and, and they had their powers, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to see going forward if, you know, we have a relationship thing going on with Adriana and Black Adam, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and what's going on with Conduct? Because now Conduct is liberated. No more intergame. I mean, they free now. I mean, the whole, the rest of the world is still, you know what I'm saying, conquered. <laughs> the establishment still got the whole rest of the world. You're telling me conduct is the only place on the planet that's free, free in, in the DC universe? So, so we're going to see what's going on with that. As far as politically, what's going on. Because remember, it said conduct has no international law, none of that. It's just, it's just uh, like Palestine. They just, nobody cares about them. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on. What's going on now? That, 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 now that they got freedom, so now, now, now you know, since they got freedom now, the establishment going to come in and, and take take away, take that away. So we're gonna see what's going on. They're gonna try to regulate them and, and all this type of stuff and put them into the UN, all type of stuff. We're gonna try to do. And so let me. It, it, it's funny to see what, what is Black Adam gonna do. Is he gonna be the president, the, the prime minister? Is he gonna 
how to make the decisions for the for the for the, for the nation. I know he, uh, Black Adam ain't trying to do none of that. So is he going to go point somebody? Like that's why he might need a Adriana, and to, to make those moves and have the, you know, a structure, some type of structure with conduct to to, to speak to the world. You know what I'm saying to address the planet. So about this whole Black Adam situation. So it's going forward. It's going to be big, man. It's going to be big, man. Going forward, I mean, see what's going on as far as the universe. Obviously, we got Batman and how we fit all that in. So who's going to be Batman? Who's going to be the, the main line Batman for the for the DCEU? That's what we got to figure out. So we we got Flashpoint coming up. We're going to have multiple Batmans. Michael Keaton coming. You know I'm saying hopefully Ben Affleck. We got multiple Flashes. We got to Listen, I don't care what's going on. We got to got to keep Ezra Miller. We got to keep him, man. Listen. From, from what he did in Justice League, that that scene, uh, when he when he when he did, did the Speed Force at the end of that movie. Need to wait far beyond. You gotta do it now. It was one of them to have. It's one of the best scenes in in, in, in cinema. Period. I mean, forget about superhero movies, period, but that's one of the best scenes, period, man. Just from that scene and from the fire that you, you've seen with him and, and, and the fact that he showed up for Peacemaker when everybody else was going through all, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he had things going on in his life. He said, nah, what? We, um, Flash is needed over here? I'm going. You know I'm saying? So you have to respect that. Like, he, it wasn't about money, nothing. Like, I'm, I'm going. I'm about, the Flash supposed to be over here? I'm here. That's it. It's, not, it's just about love, about the, about the family. It's about the fans. It's about us. And you gotta respect that. See, so I don't think they should get rid of um Ezra Miller because I mean he he embodies that 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 role. I'm saying that speed force scene was serious. I'm saying Aquaman, okay, they got they gotta get more in, in depth with in depth with Aquaman. They don't just phrases, funny phrases and these tough looks and stuff like that. Nah, you gotta get in there. Part two gotta get in there, get get, get in get in the story, man. Like we're gonna see we gotta see more story with Aquaman too and make some connections because Aquaman 1 made no connections. I mean, he had this whole big wall, wall, sea wall going on, and we have no Superman, no Justice League, no nothing. It's like, it's like what's going on? We got a connection here. We gotta connect what's going on. Superman not letting none of this go down. He's not letting none of this go down. I mean, in these waters, land, sea, none of that. He's coming. Like, what's going on? I mean, you gotta, you gotta have Superman and Justice League involved in, in, in events, any event. If they on Earth, and something else is going on on Earth. We gotta have a, a situation where they see, they, they come through, no matter what movie it is. That's why you gotta have situations where they're off planet, they're off Earth, where you can now you can make your movie where you ain't gotta worry about having Superman there or something like that in your movie where he's in the universe now. So now you, people are like, why? Wait, how you gonna make this whole movie and all this stuff going on and Superman is right here? No, but don't worry about it. James Gunn knows about all that with Marvel. So he knows how to set up the universe, set up the timelines right. Everything gonna be right as far as who's doing what and what's going on where and you gonna connect everything, man. You got a good team, you know you're gonna have a good team. You know, if you need any help from Feige, you know you're gonna make one call, one phone call. I'm saying they're gonna be they're gonna be both coming back and forth. It's, it's gonna be real. It's real, man. Because he wants to have that DC Marvel connection. And so so we're gonna see what's going on. And this is gonna make Kevin Feige step his game up, man. He know. He know what DC can do. We all know what DC can do. They can put together art. <laughs> so Marvel gotta get more edgier. And that's that. So he you know they gotta it's, it's great for us because now we get to see more content, more, more more movies, more shows, more everything. It's live, man. It's good money, man. That's a fact, man. Going forward, DCEU is, is, in, is in good shape, man. Good shape, man. Definitely. I mean we got at Black Black Adam. Yeah, I need they need to do World War Three. Black Adam. I need to be part two. World War Three. Let's go. You know what I'm saying, and, and get busy, man. And, and, and let's go. I want to see all type of stuff, man. Obviously, Dark Side, the the Ramada. I mean, we got Wonder Woman coming out. We got they gotta, James Gunn is gonna, gonna connect everything. So I don't even worry about it. It's what it is, man. Black Adam going forward. DCEU. You know what I'm saying. If they could put five movies together, man, five connected movies, they're gonna be frontlining, man. Frontlining. You know what I'm saying? Especially in a Superman movie in there? Oh, yeah. Batman movie in there? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. You, you connect Batman and Superman and Black Adam? Oh, my God. <laughs> Over. Justice League, JSA, Suicide Squad? 
Martian Manhunter, okay, all types of stuff going on. Yeah, it's real. Jail, what's going on in that jail? Who, who, who's putting these meta humans in, 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 in these prisons? Who's doing that? Who's 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 powerful enough to do these things? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we see um, Hulk Man and Dr. Fate ain't that thing. Was, wasn't doing it. They wasn't doing that. But who's doing this for her? For her? Amanda Waller. She got a lot of stuff going on going forward. I'm saying it's going down, man. <laughs> That's a fact. Game two, man. Out of here.